In this video, we're going to have a look at how to solve quadratic equations. Now, quadratic equations are just equations where the highest power of x is 2. So your quadratic equation is always going to include an x squared term. Now, we're going to take a three-step approach to solving quadratic equations. So the first thing that we're going to do is we always make sure that the right-hand side is equal to 0. Once we've done that, we then want to factorise what we've got on the left-hand side so that we end up with a product equal to 0. And once we've got our product equal to 0, we can then just split the product and solve each of the equations that we end up with. And so when we do step 3, we do it because if you have a product equal to 0, so for example here, if AB is 0, either what's causing the 0 or generating the 0 there is the A or the B. It's one part of the product, or potentially both, that's causing the 0 uh, there. So let's have a look at some examples. So for this first one, the right-hand side is already uh, 0, so we can jump straight on to step 2, and we can factorise this. And what we can do is we can say that uh, because the highest common factor is 2, we end up with 2 brackets, 4x squared, minus 9, and that's equal to 0. Now what's inside the brackets there is a difference of 2 squares. So we can say that 2 lots of 2x plus 3 and 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now we've got a triple product equal to 0 here. Now we know that 2 can't be 0, so that rules that out. So either what's giving us a 0, or what could give us a 0, is one of two scenarios, the first of which is 2x plus 3 is 0, or, alternatively, the other part of the product, 2x minus 3 is 0. So this is us on to the third step, and we just solve each equation. We've broken our product, split it into two, and we can say that if we take 3 away from both sides, 2x is negative 3, so x is negative 3 over 2. Okay, or if we add 3 to both sides here, we get that 2x is 3, so x is 3 over 2. Okay, now, there you have it, your two solutions. Looking at the next question, again, the right-hand side is equal to 0, so we can just go straight on to step 2, and we can say if we factorise this, it's a trinomial, there's no common factor, so factors of x squared are x and x, Factor pairs of 18, well you've got 1 and 18, uh, 2 and 9, 3 and 6. 3 and 6, that's a pair, that's going to give you 9. So both positive, because 3x and 6x make positive 9x. So you've got a product equal to 0. You can then split your product and say x plus 3 is 0, or x plus 6 is 0. And if we take 3 away from both sides here, we get that x is negative 3. We take 6 away from both sides, we get that x is negative 6. And there you have your two solutions. Easy as that. Now for this last one, our right-hand side is not 0. So we've got to take 3x away from both sides, take 28 away from both sides, to end up with um, x squared minus 3x minus 28 equals 0. So you've got 0 on the right hand side. You've then got a trinomial which you can factorize. So factors of x squared, they are x and x. Factors of 28, you've got uh, 1 and 28. You've got 4 and 7. Now 4 and 7 can be used to give you 3. Now you want negative 3x, so you want negative 7x, and you want positive 4x. And you know that because this numerical term at the end is negative, your signs here are going to be positive, or are going to be different, sorry, because uh, different signs multiplied will give you a negative answer. So you've got your product, you can then split it and say x plus 4 is 0, and x minus 7 is 0. So taking 4 away from both sides, we can say x is negative 4, and adding 7 to both sides, we can say that x is 7. So that's all you do to solve quadratic equations. Make sure the right-hand side is equal to 0. Factorize the left-hand side then to get a product. Split your product. Solve your equations. 
and that's you. So see if you can do these three questions yourselves. Um, pause the video and check back and see if your solutions are the same as what we've got ourselves. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, question D first of all. Now your right hand side is already zero, so what we can do is we can factorize this. Now the highest common factor here is going to be 3. So we end up with 4t squared minus 9 inside our bracket. Now notice that's a difference of two squares, so open up your double bracket. In fact, the square root of 4t squared is 2t, and the square root of 9 is 3. One bracket positive, one bracket negative. So you've got a triple product equal to 0. <clears throat> now, you know that 3 can't be 0, so we can just count that. So what's generated in the 0 uh, is either when 2t plus 3 is 0, or when 2t minus 3 is 0. Okay. So what we can do then is we can take away 3 from both sides, and we end up with t equals negative 3 over 2. And over here, if we add 3 to both sides, we get 2t equals 3. So t is 3 over 2. Okay, these are your two solutions. The only two values that satisfy the quadratic equation. Okay, now moving on to look at e. Again, your right-hand side is 0. So we are good to just factorize. So opening up a double bracket, because we've got a trinomial, we can say factors of x squared are x and x. Factors of 15 that can be used to give you 2x will be 5 and 3. Now you want negative 2x, so you want negative 5x, positive 3x. So you've got your product equal to 0. So split the product, make each part of the product equal to 0. And adding 5 to both sides here gives us that x is 5. And taking 3 away from both sides here gives us that x is negative 3. Okay, and these are your two solutions. Now for the last one, um, we need to make the right-hand side equal to 0. So what we'll do is we'll add 3x to both sides. We'll take 18 away from both sides. We'll end up with x squared plus 3x minus 18 equals 0. Now that we have a trinomial equal to 0, we can factorize. So factors of x squared again are x and x. Factors of 18 that can be used to give you 3 will be 6 and 3. Now, you want positive 3x, so you want positive 6x, and you want negative 3x. Okay, so we can make each part of our product equal to 0, and we can say x plus 6 is 0, and we can say x minus 3 equals 0. So taking 6 away from both sides, x is negative 6. Adding 3 to both sides, x is 3. And hopefully you got the same solutions for each uh, of the three questions yourselves. Now sometimes a quadratic equation will come to you um, in disguise, if you like, and you might uh, not have um, the x squared power uh, obviously presented to you. You might have a bit of work to do to either multiply the brackets or to get everything onto one level. So here are a couple of examples of questions which um, you can uh, hopefully deal with using skills that you already have um, come across. Now, <clears throat> any brackets that appear, you want to get rid of them. So multiplying this out, we get 6x squared minus 2x minus 20 equals 0. And then you can uh, factorize uh, that. Okay. Now, this is a wee bit more complicated to factorize. So what we can do is we can do 6 times 20 is 120. Now, once you, you've got that, you can work out all the different factor pairs of 120. So you get 1 and 120, you've got 2 and 60, you've got 3 and 40, you've got 4 and 30, you've got 5 and uh, 24, um, 6 and 20. Um, you have 8 and 25, 8 and 15, sorry, um, 
9. Does 9 go into it? No, 10 and 12. Now, once you've found a pair that can give you 2, you know that you have got what you need. Now, I want negative 2x, so we want to use negative 12x and positive 10x to split this middle term. So I'm going to write this as 6x squared, and I'm going to write the negative term coming first, so minus 12x, then plus 10x, and then I'm going to write my minus 20, and that's all equal to 0. Okay, so we can just... Uh, Think of this as uh, separate, okay, from, from what we're doing. Now, once you have done that, we can factorize the first two. Now, the highest common factor there is 6x. So we say 6x times x minus 2. And then if we factorize the second bit, highest common factor there is 10. And again, you end up with x minus 2 in your bracket, which is good because whatever repeats is going to be uh, part of your final factorized form. So you have x minus 2 in one bracket, and the leftovers, or the coefficients of the of what you've factorized there, that's going to give you your second bracket. So what I should be writing is 6x plus 10. Okay, so now we've got our product equal to 0. And once you've got a product equal to 0, you can split it, and you can say, well, x minus 2 is 0, or alternatively, 6x plus 10 is 0. So here we find that x is 2. That's one solution. And here, when we take 10 away from both sides, we get 6x is negative 10. Um, so x itself is negative 10 over 6, which simplifies to give us that x is negative 5 over 3. That's your second solution. Okay? Now for this one over here, you've got a fraction equal to a fraction. So use cross multiplication. The product of the diagonals going one way will be equal to the product of the diagonals going the other way. So we can say that x plus 1 times x plus 1 has to be equal to 4 times 1, which is 4. And that gives us that x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 4. And we can then get everything onto one side, make the right-hand side 0, and we can say x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 0. And we can then factorize that. Factors of x squared, x and x. Factors of 3, 3 and 1. You want plus 2x, so make that positive, that negative. You've now got your product equal to 0, so you can split each part of your product. And you get two solutions, one of which is x is negative 3, and the other one, x is equal to 1. And that is how you go about solving quadratic equations, and uh, hopefully you find that helpful.